Hey guys, it's me, Lena, back with another video, and this is like the umpteenth time I try to record this video because my kids are watching Nick Jr. upstairs and they're just cutting up a rug. They always do this when I'm making a video and they're downstairs. They decide to be the loudest when I record a video. So I apologize for any background noise or any kids screaming in the background. I really apologize. Um, this video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be basically some perfumes that I bought, small perfume haul, and some stuff I got at GNC, and it's going to be about some products that I have a love and hate relationship. First off, I got my hair cut. That's one of the kids that I watch acting like a cat. Sorry. I got a hair cut. I love the side. I love the back. I am recording. Give me a minute, please. Lena's go play. To chase me. play. Go play, please. Okay. Close the door when you're done. Go close the door. Thank you. Sorry about that. I like the left side. I like the back because it's nice and short. But I hate this side. There's a big old strand right here that doesn't match to anything. And then this part is short. Like, what the frick? I didn't want it like that. I wanted it to look like this side. A nice smooth coming down long. Well, good thing for me, hair grows back. And since my hair is super curly, it does that natural wave thing for the short, the shorter part, which I hate when my hair does that. At least, I think I, I just don't like it because. I don't like that part how it's cut because I didn't want my bangs, my side bangs trimmed. They grew out. I grew them up for a reason. Anyway, enough babbling about my hair. It's going to grow back. The first product I got is a baby fat perfume called Dare Me. And then this, I don't know how new or old this product is, but it's by Kimorley Simmons, which I don't know if she still works for baby fat. Last I saw, correct me if I'm wrong, she wasn't working for Baby Fat. She moved on to something else. And one of those things is her Just Fab website, which is amazing. Amazing. I'll do a separate video on that. And this perfume was $22 where I bought it at. And I'm, I was disappointed because I only had the tiniest bottle. And this is one fluid ounce and this is how small the bottle is it's tiny I like the cap because it looks like a little diamond like a big diamond pink diamond and this is very nice it was, it's very light scents I like the toned down scents I don't like scents that punch you in the face or grandma's perfumes those I, I, I stay away from the next perfume I'm going to show you guys is one of my newest favorites and it came in a package bundle I guess or deal whatever it is the Someday by Justin Bieber see this cute bag um, the perfume itself is $44 if you buy it without the bag but it's $44 with, when you get it with the bag too so I went with this a package deal and it's purple and it has hearts and then it has the silver with the the fabric intertwined and then the other side is purple with hearts and the bottom is clear it's all see-through I will probably not use this for my personal items I'll probably use this for makeup to travel with or I'll probably just give it to my daughter as a purse and I love this perfume. This was $44. It's amazing, amazing. If you have a Sephora or Ulta, take away from it. Take a whiff of the perfume because it smells amazing. And the next one is another favorite, Viva La Juicy. This is the three the 1.7 fluid ounce bottle. And this was $55.20. And I think only the big, big bottle, the $70 bottle, comes with the the pretty bow and the little juicy couture, little dangling chain thingy. Another 
awesome smell. If you like toned down scents, something that just smells good and it's just not strong, this is one to, to get. I don't like any of the other Viva, um, Viva, uh, the Juicy Couture scents because I think they're too strong for me and they make me sneeze a lot. So. One perfume that is my all-time favorite that I have I am having such a hard time finding. It's Baby Fats Goddess Perfume. If you guys know where I can find this and prefer with the bigger bottle, please leave me a link down below in the comment box. The only place I've seen to find this perfume is on eBay. And sometimes eBay can be a ripoff. I love eBay, but I also couldn't pair shop. And sometimes they have awesome deals and sometimes they just rip it, rip you off. Especially with stuff that's limited edition that you can't find anymore. Okay, now for the love and hate products that I have. The first thing is this MAC Studio Moisture Cream. Now, the reason why I hated it, the reason why I hated it is because in the summertime, my skin is super oily, and that's when I bought this in the summertime. I went to the mat counter, and I told them what type of skin I had, and for some reason, they recommended this to me. If you have oily skin, do not get the Studio Moisture Cream. This is for people who have dry skin. If you have oily skin, it's going to make you feel like you have three tons of freaking baking grease on your face, and I hate that feeling. Now, in the, in the winter time, my skin tends to dry up. It's not oily. It's not quite as oily. So now I'm loving this product because it my skin is dry, so it's not overly moisturizing my face, and my face doesn't feel oily. As you can see, I have no makeup on. I don't have any oils, any oil, obvious oil spots, not even in my T-zone. So I'm loving that, and... I'm glad I kept it because I was about to throw this away. But something told me save it just in case. That's one product. Another product is this oops. Oh, this elf eyeshadow brush and brightening liner. I love the the brush side. This is great for smudging. Awesome for smudging. Um, any eyeliners. It's a little loose, but that's okay. Nothing some crazy glue can't fix. The hate part. This eyeliner. It is horrible. Like, in my on my hand, it looks... It comes on good. But when I put it on my waterline, it's like... It doesn't... It doesn't stay. It doesn't even stay on my... On my bottom lash line. I had to continuously put it on and put it on and put it on. And it's still... Um, barely shows it's like a soft very light black I like liners that are more on the creamy side like Urban Decay's 24-7 pencils or Stila's Kajal pencils that are creamy this one is like dry it's really dry that's another product that I have a love and hate relationship and I think that's about it for right now oh one product that I'm not feeling is the e.l.f. Mineral Eyeliner in Black, this specific one. This is very drying. Like, when you put it on your hand, it's very pigmented, but when you, it's, like, so drying to my lid. I don't know if it has something to do with my dry skin during the winter, but I just, I'm not, I'm not digging it. Um, that's enough for the products that I have a love-hate or just dislike relationship. Um, now on to my GNC stuff. I went to GNC today and I went to get a product called Hydroxystem. Hydroxystem and Oxyalee are two of the main products that helped me lose the 34 pounds that I lost. They gave me energy, they reduced my appetite. It was great. Well, there's a, one of the ingredients, the CL something, the CL something that those products both contain that cause somebody to die. Well, if that happened to that person, 
I don't want to put myself at risk. Even since I've been taking it for, for so long, I still don't want to put myself at risk of having any kind of health issues or putting myself in harm's way because of a product. So I'm gonna try. I've gonna, I'm gonna try something new, and if this product don't, the, these products don't work, I'll probably go back to my hydroxy stem. So the first thing I bought was GNC had a buy one get one fifty percent off of triple strength fish oil. One has extra vitamin D three, has added vitamin D three, and this one has. Reserve, 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 ah, reserve. There you go. Tongue twister. Don't judge me. English is my second language. <laughs> but re resveratrol is um, something that helps, that provides heart, brain, joint, and eye and skin health. And I've mainly since I hit the big 3-0, I um, need something to keep my skin looking rejuvenated because I just want to keep looking, you know, I want to look young or at least have good skin. And that's one product I bought that I'm going to implement to my new regimen that starts tomorrow. Another thing that I took that I bought, let me take this, is Ultimate it's Mega Ignite Ultimate Thermogenic Amplifier. Features a tri pepper blend showing to triple pre exercise calorie burning. Ignites three phase calorie burning before, during, and after exercise. Fuels metabolism as you push to blaze through performance barriers. You take three pulse three times a day. And this is the great because of the energy part. Since I have hypothyroidism, my energy levels are really low. So I need all the help I can get. And the lady that was at GNC has a thyroid disorder like I do. So she was really helpful because she knows what we can and cannot take. Like we can't take hydroxy cut. That is like, it'll, it flashes with the thyroid medicine that we take. And the last thing that I bought is a, a woman's ultra mega active dietary supplement Vitapack program for active women. And this is a multivitamin that increases energy and calorie burning, fuels fatty acid metabolism with carnitine and CLA. That's an ingredient, I believe, that caused the death of someone. I guess there was too much of it. It was unsafe amounts. And that's what caused the person's death. And it cushions the joints. And that's what fish oil does also, which because I have a bad hip, and it also keeps you from getting sick. According to my mom, it keeps you from getting sick. So this is what it looks like, and it has basically the woman's ultra mega pack active without iron, and then it has an energy and highs. It has sir, it has thirty packs, and this was thirty dollars. I'm coming. Let me finish my video, please. Give me a minute, please. Give me a minute, please. Shut the door. I'll be right out, okay? I promise. And this is what the Mega Night looks like. So, um, if you guys are taking any of these products, please let me know um, your personal experience, um, any side effects or anything like that. Did it work? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Please leave it in the comment below. And that's basically it for my haul. I have some more videos coming up. And until my next video, I'll talk to you guys next time.